Hey, what's up guys? It's Josh here. I'm here with Coach T and the rest of our coaching team. And we're gonna go over this week's send off workout for you. So for this workout, we're gonna have four stations. You'll have two exercises at each station and you're gonna have 75 seconds to get a certain number of reps done of each exercise. So when you get that row of reps done, let's say it takes you 35 seconds, that's gonna give you 40 seconds to recover. If it takes you 50 seconds to get it done, that's gonna give you about 25 seconds to recover here. We're gonna go around the room four times today. Okay, you ready, Tia? Good, so station number one, we're starting over here on our suspension trainers. We're gonna work our two-way row. So, moving plank position, with your palms turned down, you're gonna squeeze those shoulder blades, pull those hands right towards your armpits. Turn those palms up, pull your hands towards your low ribs. So palms down, chest and armpits, palms up toward those ribs. You're gonna do five of each here, so 10 total. Stepping in is gonna make it heavier. Putting one foot back is gonna make it lighter to give you a better range of motion here as well. From there, the second exercise is our ball slam burpee. So reaching eye overhead with that ball, you're gonna slam that ball down as hard as you can, kick back into that burpee, and right back up. If you want, you can do the step back burpee here, one leg at a time or you can do those traditional ball slams. Just make sure every slam as hard as you can. We're doing five of those. So it's 10 on the rows, five on those slams. Nice job, Tia. From there, we're coming down to station number two. We got Coach Carrie over here. She's gonna start with our sled push and drag. So she's gonna push that sled as fast and as hard as she can all the way down to this end of the floor. Once she gets down there, she's grabbing those trainer handles. Big, proud chest. Walled up abs, notice how she's moving toe to heel here, staying nice and low. She's gonna drag that sled back to the other end. When you get down there, you're gonna go into your push-up. So, starting from that push-up plank position, glutes are squeezed tight, squeeze those shoulder blades, the deep breath in on the way down, push that air as you press back up. If you want, you can go down from your toes, lower those, oh, I was gonna knock or, go down from your toes, lower those knees, and press up from your knees. You can work from your knees here as well. So it's down and back on the sled, and then five good push-ups. Nice job there, Carrie. From there, we're coming over to station number three. Coach Tia's back. She's gonna be starting with our kettlebell clean and squat. Getting that kettlebell step right there between those toes, flat back, chest up. She's gonna yank that kettlebell up to her chest. Whoop. Then she's gonna go down into her squat, then take it back down. So she's gonna clean it to the chest, squat down, push those knees apart, run, whoop, drive back up. You're doing that five times here. The second exercise is our half knee, or excuse me, yes, our half kneeling halos here. So, excuse me, tall kneeling halos, my bad. Both knees are on the floor here, nice wide stance. Kettlebell in that bottoms up position. You're taking it over your shoulder and then behind your head. Really let it get as low as you can behind your head so we get a nice stretch through the lats, triceps, and your chest here. Over to the other side. You're gonna do three, or you're gonna go in three and three here. So three in one direction, three in the other direction, and then you're recovering, getting ready for your next set here. Okay, nice job, Kia. From there, our last station here, Coach Carrie's back, and she's gonna start with our step up press. So, one foot plant on the box, dumbbell on the other arm. She's gonna throw that dumbbell up to the ceiling, using that momentum here. So, deep breath in, stepping up, drive up, throw that dumbbell to the ceiling here, push that air out as you're coming up here. You're gonna go five on one side, five on the other. You're challenge yourself with that weight, but make sure it's a weight that you're not struggling to get that press up at the end. The second exercise is our dumbbell power curl. So you're gonna use two dumbbells here. She's gonna sit those hips back and then use those hips and those legs to drive up, catching those dumbbells at her shoulder. So it's a deep breath in on the way back. Push that air out as you drive up here. You're gonna do 10 of these. These are gonna go fast. You're gonna get 10 quality power curls in and then you're gonna stay fast and loose and get ready for your next set. Okay, that's our send off workout for this week. Great job, everybody.